Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from Video Editor Studio and today we're gonna learn how to make a simple box title inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. Stay tuned. So we are in DaVinci right now. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new timeline. So I'm gonna create a timeline that is HD, uh, 24 FPS, but it can be whatever you want. So we're gonna create that. I'm gonna rename it title box and we're gonna go to effect library effect fusion composition we're gonna drag that in and open that into the fusion page so right now we are into the fusion page what we're gonna do to start to make the title is drag in a text node so we got the text node over here we're gonna write um, video editor studio here we go uh, first off we're gonna show it up here I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat. I think it's one of the best out there. Uh, it always looks quite clean, medium. Let's add some tracking so it looks a bit more cinematic. Then we're gonna bring in uh, the background. So just gonna add the background there. Same, we're gonna click on the background to make it show up. Uh, maybe just make the merge first link the merge node to media out okay perfect so we got the background but what we want actually is to have like a box around the title so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a mask to that background up oh, perfect so we got a rectangle mask to the background so it's linked to the background node i just had that selected i'm just gonna show you again i just had that selected the background uh, not selected and then I clicked on the rectangle mask and up that show up I'm just gonna change the size perfect uh, and I think yeah, it looks good I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, the text so I'm gonna select the text node and then I'm gonna click on uh, the rectangle mask and same thing I'm gonna match the box that I've created so now we got like the basic design, like the basic design is done. Now we need to uh, just do the animation in and the animation out. So for that, I'm just gonna go to the 24th frame because that's where I want uh, my animation to end. So I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna go to transform, go down to size, and I'm gonna add like a keyframe. Then I want the animation out to start at 48 uh, frame so that's about two seconds so I'm gonna do the same thing put a keyframe there and then go to the end put that to zero same thing at the start go to the zero frame and bring that to zero so that means we got basic animation for the in and the out then we're gonna do pretty much the same thing for the rectangle so we're gonna go to the 24th frame same thing we're gonna add um, a key frame on height, so at 24, and at 48, and same thing again. At the end um, of the clip, we're gonna bring that down to zero, and at the beginning of the clip, we're gonna bring that down to zero again. Same thing again, gonna go to the 24th frame, go to the mask for the text, and I'm gonna keyframe the same thing. So. Right now, I'm gonna keyframe the same thing as the background, so it match. Right now, I'm on the 24th frame. I'm gonna keyframe the height. Same thing at 48. I'm gonna keyframe the height, and then I'm going go until the end of the clip. Bring that down to zero. Same at the beginning, bring that down to zero. And we got the animation. Awesome. Now, I just need to make it like smoother. So I'm gonna open spline. I'm gonna tick all the boxes to show up. Uh, cool, awesome. Then I'm just gonna click on that. In zoom to fit is basically to show all the keyframes that are currently um, in use. So I'm gonna select all the keyframes from the in animation, so this animation. And I'm gonna use Control S to smooth them out. Now I'm just gonna press T. So there is that over here to show up. 
and I'm gonna smooth that um, to 100. See what it does? It makes like a big curve that's gonna smooth in uh, the title. We're gonna do the same thing for the animation out. So I'm gonna select the keyframe for the out animation. I'm gonna use Control S again to make a smooth curve. And then this time, instead of in the ease in, I'm gonna go in the ease out and same thing. I'm gonna put it like at 100%. Okay, so perfect. We got the titles, it's working uh, pretty good. The last step that I would recommend you to do uh, to make it easier to use in your timeline is to add a key stretcher. So just click on the merge layer, then hold shift and space to open like uh, the search toolbar and you're gonna search for key stretcher, this one. Perfect. You put it in, um, it added just this node between the merge node and the media out node. And basically what it's gonna do, is gonna make your title more responsive, uh, which means that if you want to stretch it out, you will be able to stretch it out as much as you want. So our animation stop at 24 and it start again at uh, 48. So we're just gonna put 48 there. And uh, the source start at zero and end at 71. So we're gonna put just 71 there. And now if we go back to the edit page, we got not only a title that is working perfectly and took only two minutes to do, but what we can do if we want, we can stretch it. And now the animation have been stretched and it's still working. So we can do that like as long as we want. Um, let's say we want it to last 20 seconds instead of the four initial seconds and it's still working. The intro, I'm gonna skip to the end and the outro. Perfect. So here you go, guys. Uh, I hope that was helpful. I've made a pack of five titles uh, like that for you to use and to download for free. I'll put the link in the description. So if you want to try them out and let me know what you think about it, um, it's down in the description. I'm gonna show you quickly how they look like. So yeah, the titles, they are really easy to use, uh, really minimalistic in a way. Um, they're organized in a drop-down menu. So here you got the size, you can change the text over here, and uh, here you can change uh, some stuff about the box. Um, so you can make it red if you want. So they are all fully customizable. Uh, you can stretch them out. They work like in any frame rate, any resolution. Uh, it's just drag and drop. Let me know in the comment what you think about it. If you happen to try them out, I will really appreciate it uh, to have uh, some feedback. Hope that was useful and see you in the next video. Bye.